हेलो फ्रेंड्स विशिंग यू ऑल ए वेरी प्रॉस्परस एंड वार्म न्यू ईयर मे आर ऑल ड्रीम्स कम ट्रू एंड टुडे अगेन आफ्टर ए गैप ऑफ फाइव सिक्स डेज वी आर स्टार्टिंग आवर वर्चुअल लेक्चर्स सो वी आर लेफ्ट विथ ओनली वन चैप्टर इन अकाउंट एंड ऑलरेडी वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड अवर स्टेटिस्टिक्स पोर्सन दैट इज फोर चैप्टर्स विल बी फॉर द फर्स्ट सेमेस्टर एग्जाम एंड इट इज एक्सपेक्टेड इन डिसम्बर इन द फर्स्ट वीक ऑफ डिसम्बर एक्सेल्फ and in accountancy from part 1 10 chapters are in and we have completed already the nine chapters now we are only left with one chapter that is trial balance and most probably tomorrow we will complete that chapter okay friends yes let's start the topic now now friends from the very beginning we have learned the terminology we have learned what is debit what is credit we have learned to write the journal entries we have made the equation a is equals to c plus l we have learned subsidiary books journal proper from that journal proper subsidiary books we have learned the important chapter that is ledger posting now we are moving towards the next stage of account that is trial balance now what is this trial balance actually now friends comparing it with the previous chapter that is ledger posting as you know in the last three sums we have found the balances of each account and what i said that balance is on debit side so it is a credit balance and if the balance is on credit side it is debit balance so we have to see for the closing balance the opposite thing if it is on credit side it is debit balance if it is on debit side it is a credit balance now all such accounts are having debit and credit balance so using that debit and credit balance we will see whether we have done the things perfectly or not to verify before the preparation of last financial accounts of the year as you know always we are preparing the final accounts at the end of the year what are that accounts we will learn in the next coming part two but for preparation of that financial accounts we have to check whether we have recorded all the transactions correctly or not we have to check through the trial balance means trial balance is showing the accuracy of our accounts return for debit balances we will write on debit side for credit balances we will write on credit side and if the totals are same then we can say mathematically our accounts are correct if there are some errors also our trial balance will be equal on both sides now we have to find that errors also so all these things we will learn in this chapter on page number 249 we have studied in chapter 1 that accounting is a science and a art since accounting is a science it has its own rules principles and traditions all these aspects are considered during the preparation of accounts as we have studied earlier the accounting system is used by businessmen as well as other stakeholders thus the prepared accounts have to be certified a certificate company form is expected stating that the accounts disclose true and fair economic condition in non corporate from true and fair view is implicitly expected now what is this true and fair view the following points determine that the business accounts are true and fair what will determine accounts are correct as per mathematical view point and accounts are prepared on the base of true and fair means we have used all the accounting rules and we have done the work on basis of that rules account preparation method in double entry system where there are minimum two effects are debit and credit thus debit total of transaction is equal to total of credit side uh, total of credit side or total of uh, i think some sentence mistake is there thus debit total of all transaction is equal to the total of credit side or total of credit side is equal to debit side why they are writing repeatedly we don't know If the total of debit and credit side are identical, then mathematically our accounts are correct. As I said, from our ledger, we have to bring the balances of all the accounts. Okay, it is possible that some account is not having any balance. Square the accounts, equal on both sides. That account are not required, but the accounts which are having balance, we are required. We will write the debit balance on debit side, credit balance on credit side. If the totals are same, then our transactions are mathematically correct. Accounting is a science. Thus, to record the transactions, three types of accounts are used. We know personal, nominal, and real. If the transactions are recorded on the basis of the rules, accounts would disclose true position. How to know that accounts are mathematically correct or not? We will study this issue in this chapter. The statement that discloses 
the accounts are mathematically correct is known as a trial balance underline that thing the writing of accounts start with transaction as per chronological order the first transaction is identical identified and recorded in journal or subsidiary books posting is done in ledger book balances of accounts are ascertained from the ledger book these balances are debit and credit a statement where these balances is disclosed is known as trial balance means first we are writing the transaction then we are writing the transaction in subsidiary and cash book also then we are posting in ledger then we are taking out balance and finally that balance is brought debit side debit balance credit side credit balance and if the totals are correct it is we can say that mathematically our transactions are correct and the statement which is showing such a summary of transaction is called a trial balance a total of debit balance and total of credit balance shown in the trial balance has to be identical this status shows the prime phase and mathematically accounts are now in the next page we are always in the exam it is included what is trial balance so you have to underline the first paragraph trial balance is a statement which shows that debit balance and credit balance are disclosed in mathematically correct hence if the total of debit balance and total of credit balance is identical then it can be said that transactions are mathematically correct trial balance is prepared for respective day example trial balance of raman ral as on 31 350 we can prepare on end of the year our year starts on 1st april it's end on 31st march okay what are the characteristics of trial balance it is a statement not a account it is prepared for specific period it is to check the mathematical accuracy of accounts no need to read inside just we are reading the heading it is a form of double entry system and it is the pre stage means the first stage to prepare our final accounts what are its objectives or what are its goals it shows mathematical accuracy it shows our error or any rectification means if the totals of both sides are not equal then we may find that we have made some mistake in writing the accounts easy preparation for final accounts if we have prepared the trial balance correctly then we can prepare final accounts easily from it and we can know the balances okay what are the methods for preparation of trial balance that is total method and in next page it is given balance method but we will use only balance method because total method is not required in total method we have to write total debit side total credit side that is not required we are only containing the balance method in trial balance now for that balance method and for the whole chapter friends the first and foremost thing to know is balance of each account I means suppose if i am asking you purchase then you should know purchase is always having a debit balance because always debit side of purchase is more than credit side if i am saying cash then cash balance is also a debit balance see these all are assets assets are assets or receivables will have a debit balance and the liabilities or payables will have a credit balance in the same way incomes are having credit balance expenses are having debit balance so now i am giving you some list for accounts which are having which with balance uh, i don't have actually i don't have to give this list you have to remember our all the rules from first chapter to ninth chapter but still i am giving some of the names which are useful in our exam okay so let's start so chapter number 10 and we will give the heading balances of accounts serial number name debit or credit this is just for your understanding okay in the book nothing is given in such a way but still i will give because you people want to know which account has which balance okay number 1 purchase is having always debit balance purchase returns is having 
credit balance. Other name of purchase returns is goods returns. Okay. Next, sales is having credit balance. Sales returns. It is also a goods returns. It will have debit balance. So it is opposite. Sales credit and sales return debit. Then opening stock will have debit balance because it is the stock which we have brought in the business. Then closing stock no balance. Why no balance? Because it is not compulsory that in business it will be closing stock and also closing stock is not included in trial balance. It is an extra thing. Okay, this you will understand in next upcoming chapters. So if closing bell, closing stock is given, then it is not having debit or credit. You don't have to write that thing on. Okay. All the expenses, paid things, will have debit balance. Means paid commission, paid expense, paid all will have debit balance. All the incomes. Or received things will have credit balance, losses will have debit balance, gains or profits will have credit balance, then capital is having credit balance drawings is having debit balance as both are opposite then bills receivable is having debit balance opposite to it bills payable will have a Credit balance, debtors is having debit balance. In the same way, opposing debtors are our creditors, they are having credit balance. Receivables. Now, what are actually the receivables? I will explain. Receivable income Advance expense in bracket prepaid These both are again debit because we have to receive from them Then Payables that are Outstanding expenses, these I have already explained before also. And advance incomes, which we have received in advance, okay, or prepaid, they are having credit balance. Sending the goods. 
then some of the special names I have to see for you. Patent, trademark, goodwill, copyright. If you know all these are intangible assets and all will have debit tenants. Then land, building, machinery, vehicles, all these are tangible assets, they will have also debit balance. Then, cash balance, bank balance, then they are all receivables, so debit balance, then opposite to bank balance, sometimes we are having overdraft, so bank overdraft will be a credit balance, then loans taken are credit balance, loans given in bracket I will write advanced are uh, debit balance because here we have taken the loan so we have to pay it is liability so liability is credit loans given means we are giving the loan it is receivable in future so it is our debit balance investments are our debit balance Loose tools are also a type of asset, it is also a debit balance. Here, one more name, I will write furniture also. Vehicles, then furniture. All these are tangible assets. Okay? What are your written? Land, building, machinery, vehicles, furniture, tangible assets. Then freehold assets are also type of assets, they are also debit balance. Raw material and in bracket any stock are also our debit balance. so it is also a debit balance okay so I think this much names are okay okay friends so these are some of the names with their balances so you should remember these things okay for the sums so that our sums will become okay sorry sorry still any types of reserves are credit balance still I am getting some names I will remember once again
Yes, now I think it's okay. Any types of reserves. Reserves means we have kept our profit, okay? Reserves means we are saving for ourselves. We are keeping aside our profit. So these are some of the names which we have to remember for solving the sum, okay? So then you can decide clearly that which are the things on which side, which things will come on which side, okay? Yes. Now we need some specimen for this preparing this trial balance also. So let's uh, draw a specimen, okay? Specimen of trial balance. Specimen of trial balance. There are two types of specimens. So first, trial balance of Sri dash. Debit balance is amount, credit balance is and its amount. And we have to take the total. Both totals are to be. So this is the first way to prepare a trial balance or second way. Trial balance of Sri dash. Name of account. Debit. Credit. So this is the second way to prepare a trial balance. Actually, what is the difference here? Particulars means here name is debit means debit side and credit means credit side. Here we'll write the name and we will directly mention what is it is debit or credit. Okay, but we will use this first one. You use second one also, it is not a problem for me. Okay, friends, so this is some of the information of this chapter, and now we are starting the sum on page number 260. So come to page number 260, there is fourth sum. From the given information, prepare a trial balance of Pravin Patel on 31.360. Okay, names are given and we have to prepare. Question number 4. Trial balance of Sri Pravin Patel as on which date? 31.360. Debit balance is amount in rupees, credit balance is amount in rupees. Drawing for 10 or 12 lines. Repairing, repairing is expense. So 
from the big side 800 then tax tax is also an expense which we are paying to government so it is land building is our asset asset is debit so land building 2400 then plant machinery is also our asset so on asset side uh, so on debit side 3000 then electricity expense expenses are debited so friends in short if i am saying you have to remember the bells in exam i will give 10 names and you have to write it on both sides and your total must be same otherwise your sum is wrong ok then capital capital is a credit balance 16,000 then office salary salary is our expense so debit then patents patents are our intangible assets so again on debit 400 bank balance is also our asset so debit 1800 then bank loan loan we have taken all the loans are our liabilities but loan given are our asset 1760 carriage inward is our expense just now only I have said inward and outward both are our expense so debit them then purchase is also having debit balance debit it then carriage outward is also our expense whether it is inward or outward it is a carriage it is our expense so on debit then debtors are also our asset 8000 debit side cash balance is also our asset so again on debit side all the assets are debit only cash balance is 80 rupees then loose tools also are our asset pana makar ok loose tools means in Gujarati pana makar 720 then creditors is a liability we have to pay so creditors are on credit side 3200 incomes sundry means all incomes are a credit balance on credit side office furniture is a asset so on asset side 240 and last goodwill is also a asset so on asset side the big side 6000 Okay, now let's check whether the total are equal or not. Okay, so in short, what is the thing you have to just remember the balance that which is having which balance, otherwise, nothing is there. The things which I have given now, you only have to remember them only. This is very easy. Okay, 7440 4000 600, 24, 3000, 920, 1000, 400, 18, 1200, 30,000, 600, 8000, 80, 720, 240, and 6000, 169,200. So let's check on credit side is the total is same 48,000, 69 okay friends so it's equal on both the sides which shows that our trial balance and all our posting work is correct so in short what you have to remember if you are seeing any name you should know whether it is debit or credit in exam i will give 10 such names which you have to arrange on both sides and your total must be so friends, remaining three sums we will do tomorrow. So that's all for today. Thank you so much.